Meantime, police in Franklin are hoping that someone has a crisis of conscience and admits to destroying grave sites at the city cemetery. Yeah, detectives are searching for the vandals who knocked over a dozen headstones which honor people's family members. Eyewitness News reporter Jenny Runovich shows us the damage. Workers here at Greenlawn Cemetery call this the worst case of vandalism they've seen here in decades. Here's the problem. Many of these stones have been toppled, the memorials destroyed, and this is all right before a weekend when hundreds of people will be here to mourn their loved ones. In this place of peace... This looks like William Barnett died October 22nd, 1898. A violation by vandals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. Someone damaged a dozen headstones in the 60-acre cemetery operated by the city of Franklin. I don't understand the motives behind somebody that would vandalize somebody else's grave. Workers discovered the crime Monday morning, and evidence seemed to snowball. We saw one, and we saw two, so we started looking for it, and we found three and four. Grave after grave, heavy marble and stone. This large metal piece could weigh 500 pounds just by itself brutally broken apart by criminals who Smith believes came from a nature trail and wandered here to do harm. But this goes a little bit farther than just petty vandalism. It could, I don't think it was anything personal, but a lot of people are going to take it personal. These grave sites are family owned. They're not owned by the city or the cemetery. And it's just disturbing someone to take something so uh, personal and, and destroy it. And they probably stood next to it and rocked it and pushed it off. Repairs will be costly. You could be talking tens of thousands of dollars. Limited city budgets could make that difficult. The timing is tough, too. Memorial Day visitors will be here soon to honor family members. We're going to have up to 200 volunteers here on Saturday putting out flags, and they're going to have to see some of this. A crime that disrespects the dead and the living who loved them. If the city can't make repairs, some of these stones may just stay this way, toppled over, laying right in the grass. Detectives are investigating, trying to find out who did this. If you can help, call Franklin Police. In Franklin, Jenny Runovich, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Because the cemetery's damage adds up to more than $2,500, this crime would be considered a felony, and that carries a penalty of up to two and a half years in prison. Ariana Grande has a 